Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy. I'm the owner of Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. And today I am making some more bath bombs for the kids. So yeah, I had to take off work. <laughs> it's a beautiful day and the humidity dropped and I just asked my boss if I could just leave at noon and she said yes. And so that's what I did. And I've been making bath bombs. So a friend of mine at work, my coworker, Tara, her daughter loves uh, mermaids. Her, it was either Tara or her mom, I can't remember who, had an idea. The thought was to make a, a clamshell with a little soap gumball in the middle of it, like a, like a, a pearl. I just thought that was the cutest thing. And I was like, I am going to try that. <laughs> and so we're trying to make a clamshell opened with a little gumball in the middle. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I don't know. You know, I try these things and they never come out like I really think they should. But I do have the macaroons uh, pink made. And it's not as vibrant as I, I was going for more of a vibrant pink. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing, but I don't think <laughs> they're going to care, right? What I did do this time, as opposed to my last macaroons, is I made them thicker. Um, my macaroons are, are wanting to break pretty easily. I thought I'd share with you this process of me trying, <laughs> trying to make, um, what is it? Like a clamshell or, or a pearl in the middle of a clam or something. They are macaroons. I thought about maybe trying to paint lines on them to make it look like more of a clamshell, but I don't know yet. So I'm going to get ready and we are going to finish the uh, jade ones and then I'll take you along and uh, share how I'm going to attach these. I make no promises <laughs> that this is going to work out. <laughs> so I was at a craft show this weekend. It was 95 degrees. 95. And the humidity was 95. It was crazy hot. It was so, so horribly hot. Um... I did get sick. I mean, I, I was, I was feeling it. I was, I was not feeling well. Um, thankfully I had just bought a new tent with sides, so I didn't have any sun on me. That was, that was kind of a lifesaver. Uh, I had it later in the day. I had to keep moving my products away from the sun because the sun had kind of went on the other side of us. It was hot. Um, horribly hot, actually. <laughs> and that's why I really don't do a lot of outdoor shows. I am not interested in being out in that heat or the weather. Um, I have one more outdoor show. Not this weekend, but next weekend. This weekend's Father's Day. I don't know when I'll get this posted. Um, so... One more outdoor show, and then, you know, I don't have any shows until September after that. And that's, you know, my main source of income are these shows that I do. I thought about trying to get into the farmer's market, but they haven't really gotten... I, I left them a message on Facebook, and they haven't responded, but... um. I'm not interested in doing farmer's markets every weekend. I have grandkids. I work full time. Um, I, I need time to make because Saturdays and Sundays are usually my only time to make. So farmer's markets are, are just not something I've ever been too keen on trying to do. But I wouldn't mind doing it like once a month. Especially in the summer when I don't have any other, you know, craft, craft shows going. So I don't know if you guys have seen my uh, previous bath bomb videos. Um, my newer subscribers may not have looked at those older videos. The quality wasn't very good, so I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. But um, I do talk about my Herber Press here in, in several videos. Um, so I'm just going to talk about it really quickly. And that way, if you've already seen me talk about it, you can just kind of fast forward through this era, this part because, you know, you've heard it all before. <laughs> but
but I bought Kata molds and I was really struggling with just, I felt like I was doing this and you know, when you're doing, you know, 20 or 30 bath bombs by that, you know, 20 or 30, I was really struggling. Um, I don't have, <laughs> I do not have upper body strength at all. Um, so I don't know, somewhere I read to do an Arbor Press. I'm thinking, what's an Arbor Press? I have no idea. Let's see if I need some water. I need just a little bit of warm water in here. Um, so I kind of was looking on YouTube for how to use an Arbor Press with bath bombs, and I really didn't find much out there. So I created my own uh, YouTube channel or, or videos because I really, I wanted people to be able to see what a great thing this is. This is saving my arms. I'm not near as tired and wiped out after a day of bath bomb making. Now don't get me wrong, I'm still putting some pressure down on here and after, you know, day two of bath bombs, I'm, I'm feeling it, but not like nothing like before. Nothing at all like I like before. So it's kind of a lifesaver in my book. Oh shoot, that didn't. I'm gonna go ahead and redo that. It has a little cutout here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but what I do, let me get this kind of is you put your bath bomb mixture in here. Just kind of clean off the sides a little bit. It gets kind of gunky, but that's okay. And um, I'm trying to see how, I can't tell if you're, Michael, I'm not gonna move the camera. I've already gotten bath bomb dust on my camera once. I don't wanna do that again. But I press it and then I just move it. I don't want a pressure point, so I don't want to just stick it in the middle and put all the pressure on there every single time. I feel like that would cause a weak spot. And so I take my bar and just move it all around the bath bomb uh, mold, right? And that way, I mean, these are plastic. They're not going to last forever, but I feel like I'm getting a lot more time out of them than as if I would just do it in the center. Um, I have heard these crack using the Arbor Press, and that's a scary sound. <laughs> so it doesn't take a lot of pressure, and you don't, these are plastic, so I, I wouldn't want anybody to break their mold. Um, I just put firm pressure, nothing crazy, and then that's it. Easy peasy. Lifesaver, guys. Because I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford a pneumatic press. And at this point, I'm just now to the point where I'm selling bath bombs regularly. Um, there were a number of years where I, I just didn't sell them. They, they weren't a good seller for me. I wasn't very good at them. I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't have pride in my bath bombs for a lot of years. Um, so I don't know if that's coming through, but now I feel like I'm, my bath bombs really do sell. The kids bath bombs sell. <laughs> they really do sell. All right, guys, on to the next step. Okay guys, so I um, did this. <laughs> I really don't know if this is gonna do anything. So let me show you. I have all of the bath bombs I made today. My macaroons, I went ahead and made more of my indention bath bombs for some more of those, um, oh, a little girl calls them ice cream bath bombs, which is appropriate, I think. And I made some more bath bomb surprises. I've never tried this before, but I did buy these dry 
packets, silica gel packets. So I just scattered them. I have no idea how to use these. I don't have a container big enough that will be airtight. So I just kind of threw them all around and um, I cleaned my, this is a tote I, I use for craft shows, so I just kind of cleaned that and put that upside down on top of it. I don't know if that's going to help with the humidity. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to do a thing. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not really worried about the bath bomb surprises. I've never, ever had a problem with those. And I do have a dehumidifier running constantly in the basement. Um, but it's it's dark in here. It's 65. It's trying, guys. It's trying to keep up. Um, but I can't move it. So, you know, I know they make like portable dehumidifiers. So I'm just wondering if I should try to invest in one of those for this room and I can keep the door shut and keep the humidity down. Look at that counter. Heavens to Betsy. I've got about five things working at the same time here. <laughs> All right, just wanted to show you that and, you know, maybe get some feedback from you guys on um, any recommendations for that when I don't have a big enough container with a lid to put them in, other than maybe just buying a bigger, bigger container. And how many packets does it take? I have no idea. Help! The macaroni <laughs> halves are done, and here's my thought. I want to adhere my gumball to the bottom and then adhere the top of the macaroon like this to make it a clamshell. And I have some icing, like bubble frosting, that I'm thinking about piping in here too, but I'm a little worried because that doesn't always stick to the bath bombs very well. I'm, I'm melting cocoa butter to use as glue um, basically all right let's see if this is going to work so i'm going to just do that right in the center of each one okay so that part's done three three extra gumballs okay Icing. So I'm not, I don't want to put a lot of icing on here actually, um, just to kind of, kind of surround it. Um, took my gloves off so I can really get a feel for this. All right, so I think I'm just going to dip it. That and hold it. I don't think this is gonna work. I need I need more glue and I need glue on top of the ball because little bit of liquid nitrogen and so far it's staying up I'm gonna pull you out I can't tell if you are very blurry let me pull out just a little bit it seemed like you were very blurry now of course it just seems like you're cockeyed because it always looks cockeyed to me um, all right so I'm gonna put a little here for the ball and it's just going to run. Go ahead and dip that in. Ah, got one. One to stay on. Hmm.
there. I think the real trick is getting it to adhere to the to the little soap ball. Let's try this again. More than anything, it's got to adhere to the soap ball. How in the world am I going to package these things? Very, very carefully. Okay. I don't think I'm going to touch them. If the humidity is coming back, I mean, tomorrow the humidity is going to be outrageous again. Um, I may glitter them. I may paint on them just off camera. I don't know if that'll be a disaster or not, but uh, I'll bring you back maybe tomorrow. I want to see if they're still like this tomorrow, you know, if they've, if they fought gravity <laughs> for, for like 24 hours, then I know I can kind of go ahead and package them up and, and go from, go from there. Okay. So I like literally tell myself, Tammy, check the battery. And I look up to check the battery. It's dead. <laughs> That's my life. All right. I think glitter makes everything better. Yeah? I think so. So, how I glittered is um, I'm just spraying with a little bit of alcohol, kind of the top two, and then just squirting this in there pretty heavily on the ball and then a little bit on the outside. Oh, okay. So do they look like little clamshells? Maybe not, but imagination will go far, right? <laughs> I'm I'm pretty happy with them for not being artistic and my first time trying that. So I'm going to get some pictures of these and then I'm going to get them um, all um, shrink wrapped. I'm definitely shrink wrapping these things right now. Okay so. guys, I got most of them uh, heat sh shrink wrapped. Um, I left a few out. I'm going to take some pictures here in a second and then I'll get those packaged. The uh, <laughs> The painting wasn't quite as dry as I thought it was going to be, and it's, look at that, it smudged. <laughs> it's like, I, would, I, I get very impatient, but I really didn't want these to fail on me with the humidity coming. Um, it is horrendous outside right now. Uh, so I'm just going to take it for what it is. They smudged. Uh, I showed my husband. <laughs> he, he goes, yeah, they look... They'd look better if it was an actual clamshell. <laughs> yeah, they probably would. So I think I'm going to hunt for an actual clamshell mold. I don't know if Kata has those. Is it Kata or Kata? I always say Kata. Um, but for what they are, let me get the, um, the uh, focus. Goodness. For what they are, what I had to work with, I think they're kind of cute. They're sloppy. They're me. I'm kind of sloppy. <laughs> this one's really bad. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> that looks really bad. <laughs> but some of them, like I, I pulled the better ones out, you know, for the pictures. That one doesn't look horrible. 
it's not horrible and I think the kids will be excited they won't know it's not a clamshell I think I'm going to call them under the sea I did use an ocean mist from nature's garden that's the scent I used in them so appropriate I love that scent though by the way it's a nice scent and yeah I really really like the scent I'm happy with them. I need to go, uh, like I said, see how much money I have in these, see, see where I'm gonna have to price them at. But thank you, uh, Tara and your mom for um, coming up with this idea for me. I really had fun uh, creating these and I, I am definitely gonna do this again. I am gonna be on the hunt for that shell uh, mold. And yeah, I hope Mallory loves them as much as I love making them. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate that time you give me and um, sticking with me. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down. That's okay. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.